from being an underdog against Federer to finally being better than him, to his iconic rivalry with Rafael Nadal, these are Novak Djokovic's best rivals. And starting things off is Roger Federer. He's easily one of the greatest players to have ever graced the tennis court, and many say that the rivalry between both men's one of the best in the history of tennis. The Swiss and the Serb have played against each other 50 times, and the Serb has a lead of 27 to 23. That includes the 19 times they've met in the finals where Novak leads 13 to 6. Interestingly enough, Federer is the only player to have beaten Djokovic at all four majors, and Djokovic is the only player who's beaten Federer at all four majors. Pretty even here, right? But that wasn't always the case. The rivalry began in 2006 when Federer beat the young player four times in a row. But as time went on and Djokovic got better, he began to win more matches. Overall, most of their contests over the years have been pretty close. The fans always enjoy seeing them fight it out on the court. They also played in the 2019 Wimbledon final, which was the longest in the tournament's history. And it kept viewers on the edge of their seats the whole time. The last time these two greats played each other was in the semifinals of the Australian Open in 2020, where Djokovic had the last laugh. But respectfully, most of what I've talked about so far is pretty recent. How about I take a deep dive into the early years of the rivalry? And guess what? Djokovic was the underdog for the majority of those years. With the skill and experience he has now, I understand how hard it must be to believe that. It's kind of amazing to see the rivalry has grown from almost nothing to one of the best. When Novak debuted, Federer was already a tennis superstar. On the other hand, Djokovic was a talented young man trying to make a name for himself. But then, by the time it was 2007, he finally started showing the world how talented he truly is. He beat Federer for the first time when he was 20 and played in the final of the 2007 Rogers Cup in Montreal. He was one of the first players to win a tournament by beating the top three players in the world. Honestly, this rivalry was just so interesting because of how different their play styles were. Federer is known for his elegant and graceful style, while Djokovic is more methodical and relies on his great defensive skills. So every time they played against each other, fans were treated to some of the best contests in the history of the game. But as great as this rivalry was, it isn't the only memorable one of his career. After all, I can't forget about his legendary duels with Rafael Nadal. Novak and Rafa have had some of the most intense matches in the history of tennis. Both players have played each other 59 times, and Djokovic has won 30 of those matches. See how evenly contested their matchup is? They've played each other in some of the greatest tennis matches ever, like the 2012 Australian Open Final. Djokovic won after a five-set match that took over five hours. Now that was a game you should not have missed. I sure didn't. Nadal's known for being very athletic and able to hit powerful topspin shots. Djokovic, on the other hand, as I said, relies more on technical and defensive skills. This battle of styles has led to some of the most exciting matches in recent years, as both players try to give the other their best. After all, styles make matchups, am I right? I'm sure the Spaniard agrees with me on that. Recently, he said that playing against Novak's always a special match because there have been so many memorable moments. When Rafael Nadal beat Novak Djokovic in the quarterfinals of the 2022 French Open, it was the 59th time that these two had played against each other. To put things into perspective, the first contest came in 2006, which also took place at Roland Garros. Djokovic was ranked 63rd in the world and had to quit hurt after the second set. And since then, they've been fighting for 16 years. When I think of Djokovic's iconic matches, I can't help but think of the ones he played with the next tennis star on this list. It's none other than Andy Murray. This is easily one of the most underrated rivalries in the history of tennis. 
Both athletes have competed against each other 36 times, and Djokovic has won 25 of those 11 times. Pretty impressive, right? But I can't forget that Murray defeated the Serb in straight sets in the 2013 Wimbledon final, which was one of their biggest matches. One of the things that make the rivalry between the two stars so interesting to the crowds that they know each other off the court. They're said to have been friends since they were young and have been playing against each other ever since. This goes a long way back, huh? Since they were young tennis players, they've been rivals, with Beret usually coming out on top in their early matches. But as Djokovic's career went on, he started to get the upper hand in their competition. In the end, he won most of their matches. How the tables turn, right? But even after all this, they hold a lot of respect for each other. Even though they're fierce rivals, Djokovic and Murray have a lot of admiration for each other. Imagine how happy they must have been when they found out they were going to play professionally and could keep playing matches at a higher level. Anyway, this rivalry is one of a kind in tennis because the players have different ways of playing. The British players known for being very athletic and for being able to hit strong shots from the baseline. Djokovic, on the other hand, is more determined to return these shots with his powerful drive and lures the opponent into making a mistake. As the players try to force their own styles on each other, some of the most interesting games in recent memory have been played. And when I say interesting, there's one guy that I'm reminded of. The versatile Greek player, Nick Kyrgios. It's well known that the 35-year-old and Nick Kyrgios have been rivals for a long time. Both of them are considered to be some of the best tennis players right now, so it's an interesting thing to witness. Even so, it seems like the two are finally starting to put their differences behind them. This is a strange one. You rarely see rivals convert into friends. When you think about how Nick and Novak both have had their fair share of intense moments on the court, it's pretty surprising. But it looks like the players' past fights on the court are over for good. And Kyrgios has even supported Djokovic in his fight over the COVID vaccination mess. Also, both players showed appreciation before the Wimbledon finals, which Djokovic won, but not before recognizing their newfound bromance. Even though he lost, Kyrgios still has a lot of respect and admiration for Djokovic, and he still thinks the Serbian is the best tennis player in the world. You're not the only one, Nick. Throughout their careers, Kyrgios and Djokovic haven't always been on the same page, though since the Australian Open last year, their friendship's grown. And honestly, fans love it when things like this happen because who isn't a sucker for positivity? And that's all from me on the 35-year-old's greatest rivals.